Yeah, it's 14 in the morning. I put in my retainer in, it's already come out one time. I'm, it's probably gonna come out again. And then I got a bump. I went online and found a way to fix it. Anywho, it's it's literally 14 in the morning. I don't have to be there till 6.45, but I can't sleep because I thought of every positive thing that can happen and every negative thing that can happen. I'm up now soaking off my dip powder because, yeah. Um, but I'm going to vlog as much of this day as I possibly can. It's reduction day. <laughs> I feel like my forehead need a reduction. Oh, oh wow. Make a bang or something because that's a lot. Um, <laughs> my forehead big. Anyway. It's March the 9th, 2020, and I'm getting a breast reduction. I'll probably be happy in the next, like, two clips, and then you're going to see me looking a mess. <laughs> All right. I'm getting ready to go. I don't have a bra because why waste my time? If they go and take it off anyway, so I'm like, why would I wear a bra? I put my twist into a little top knot because even my lock is tucked away. And my shirt unbuttons in the front. I got a little shirt on underneath just because, you know, you be trying to have some type of protection. It's not much when your boobs this big, but they probably gonna take my retainer and clean up my nose. I packed my nose ring. Oh, I didn't, I forget, I felt the mention. I couldn't get my trinkets out, so. Hopefully somebody in the hospital can, I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's go time. Well, not yet. I'm going to show you me walking in and I guess marked and all that stuff, but it's almost go time. Yeah, I'm getting the first reaction. I'm so excited. Yeah, I feel my twist put away. I don't want nothing to be in the way. And... Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Does she have to have drinks put in? No drinks. Okay, good. <laughs> so yeah, so she has um they did some kind of Closure. They have some Dermabond mm -hmm. and then some other, some type of closure. I don't know if they come from, start with a P. I don't, I've never gotcha. heard of it, but, um, and then I think, let's see, she has her, um, post off appointment on March 11th, mm -hmm. so two days from now. Until then, she's just, you know, she's going to keep the bra on. Gotcha. Um, take it really easy. <laughs> gotcha. Um, she can resume a normal diet. We're not gonna have her leave till she's more awake. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. I will, you will get a printout of all of the instructions. Okay. Um, she can resume a normal diet, but start slow. Mm -hmm. um, she has a little patch behind her left ear. She's not supposed to touch, right? Right. Don't yeah. touch it, and it can stay on for up to three days. Okay. Um, just take it off with a tissue, a piece of you know toilet paper, tissue, and throw gotcha. it away, and then wash okay. your hands. Because it's not. I mean. If you take, if you touch it and then touch your eyes, it makes your, you know, dilate. Dilate. Oh, the other nurse said, yeah. yeah okay. Gotcha. So, Appreciate it. Um, you, you can wear, you can use a gloves or whatever too, but. Okay. Um, so hopefully that keeps nausea at bay, but I still say start slow because. <laughs> gotcha. She had a lot of, you know, decent amount of anesthesia. And she's certainly sleepy. She woke up very sorry. <laughs> gotcha. She's sleepy. Um... If she needs to take very much of her pain medicine, she may need a stool softener because uh, you know, constipation is the number one side effect, no driving, and she's taking narcotic pain medicine, no making important decisions, no heavy lifting, no more than 10 pounds for four weeks, um, no strenuous activities for four weeks, light exercise after two weeks. Um, leave that dressing alone until her first post-operative visit. She can just sponge bathe until then. Um, yeah, and she, shower after that they'll uh, after that post-operative visit they'll re, they'll do something else that will allow her to shower gotcha um
Yeah, so it's after the dressing is taken down, the incision can get wet, just towel and pat the dry, the area dry, cover suture lines with dry gauze. Do not pick at, you know, the glue might start to peel up, it needs to just not, no touching, leave it alone. Uh, so this keeps not reading her. Take them off, you're awake enough. Say for blood oxygen levels at 99, she's breathing. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, no, my hands are cold. Mm -hmm. Need right. me, me, or anybody else who has a tag on? Thank you. Um, they will get me, or they will help you. Thank you. You're welcome. And she can have this is her water if she wants any more. Gotcha. She's welcome to it. Chest probably does hurt. <clears throat> oh man, my titties. Oh, I feel a breeze. I feel like they look to you hanging down. Oh, that's my stomach. You do have smaller breasts now. If, if Dr. Mass did what he was supposed to do, um, <laughs> I mean, I didn't see you before, so I can't. They're small. Okay. But you had surgery, so I'm going to go with that. Right, they did what they said they were going to do. <laughs> hurt in my middle. You're hurting? Just like in the middle. Do you think you need some pain medicine for that? Let's like let's have you wake up. It's twelve fifteen. Just after twelve fifteen. I'm gonna give you a few more minutes to wake up before I give you something that might make you more sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I mean get up first. It's yeah. twelve Just, fifteen. Yeah. How long was my surgery? You know, I don't I could look. I don't know what time you went back. You were there back there a little while though. It was like right under three hours, because that's when Dr. Max came and talked to me. Okay, so he's right he under talk three. To you. Okay. Well, he, he might not, you might not remember if he came to talk to you, so he usually yeah. talks to the sober she ain't person. None of that. She right. Ain't none of this. right, that's why I just put her back to bed. She ain't none of that. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, huh? 
Say what? Where are my titties? Probably headed to the incinerator. You gotta test them. See if I'm dead. Yeah, that's just a part of it, though. They don't test the whole thing. <clears throat> I want to wake up. Get up then. Keep me. If I turn my head this way, I know it's sleepy time. Open your eyes. Start with that. You silly. It's the anesthesia talking. Mm. Open your eyes. You ain't gonna wake up with your eyes closed. I'm sleepy. Keep your eyes open. I need to tell Bunch every day. What? I need to tell Bunch every day. You gotta open your eyes. Huh? Cause you ain't gonna wake up. <laughs> we, gotta, we can't stay here all day. They gonna kick you on them feet. They'll kick you out. Terry. Mm. Open your eyes. Terry. Mm. You know you gotta get up. <laughs> Hear me? You do. That's why I'm playing. Huh? I feel like you're trying to make me wake up. I am. I'm sleeping. I understand that, but you gotta get up. Why? Because you gotta go home. <laughs> You can sleep in the car, but you gotta get up. I mean, you know, we're gonna be here for a while. It's not like we're closing down and, you know, but at some point we would like for you to go home to sleep versus here. Yeah, I'm all right. My titties, they go. I don't know if I'm happy yet. And plus, I'm having my belt. Yo, this day two. I can share how I feel now because yesterday I was so high. Um, the surgery went well. They, th look, I'm going to show y'all, show y'all on Wednesday when I go and see. But, face, look how perky they are, though. It's so perky. Wow. All right, bye y'all.